Hey guys, so I just got back from a 10 day trip. Um, we drove down to Florida from Michigan and I have a bit of allergies. We literally got home super late last night and I've been unpacking all morning, but I wanted to before I officially unpacked my bag that I carried most of the trip, I wanted to film um, kind of my unpacking of it slash what's in my bag. If you guys have seen my last video, I will link it up in that corner is I will link the video of the unboxing of this bag. Um, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a little while, you will know kind of my collection and my thoughts on the Neverfull. Um, it kind of recently has changed when I started seeing this time of year, I always start seeing the turquoise, the um, limited edition Neverfull. And I really love the V. My boyfriend's last name starts with the V. And I just really love the color of the interior of this bag. Um, the Neverfull was never a bag that I was that interested in. If I did get it, I thought I was going to start off getting it in the GM. I actually did get the MM in the World Tour Series, and I thought it was too small for travel. But I ended up finding this on the pre-love market on the Facebook page. You guys, it was such a great experience. Definitely watch that unboxing video to find out the full details. But I did care carry it while we were in Florida. It pretty much was my tote bag taking it in and out of um, hotels. We kind of went to a different hotel every two nights. So um, it really ended up being my throw all when we went out and we were there for a wedding. Any kind of events I carried my smaller bags. Um, on Instagram I did show the bags that I took. I kind of told my boyfriend when he started asking me about what bags I was bringing. I kind of said I'll put them. I still all fit in my bag I promise. So I ended up taking four, five, five I think. And I fit them all into this. Um, I did post a picture. If you guys are interested, go to my description box below and I will um, leave a link to my Instagram account and you can see that. Anyways, let's get started with what's in it. It is super, super full and I'm usually really organized. I feel like I always keep the inside of my bags really nice and organized and um, everything kind of goes in pouches, but this literally has been the last week and a half of just craziness. Everything kind of goes in and I pull stuff out. It's just kind of this bag has become everything that's important that I want to keep um, close to me. It's super heavy right now because I do have it completely loaded. So here is what it looks like on the inside. I did end up putting my Miami charm on here just because we were in Florida and I figured that if I carried it this way, it would kind of show through. Um, so in here I have, and I have lots of little pouches. So as far as pouches go, um, I do have my toiletry 19. This is usually what I keep all of my toiletries in, not my, just my everyday like catch all. Um, so this ended up kind of, I took stuff out of it, I guess, and it's only half full, which is not normal for it. I do have a little pouch for my sunglasses. We went to Disney for two days, um, and I carried my Palm Springs mini backpack, and in that, I didn't have room for my big um, sunglass case, so I did keep this for my sunglasses. And I'm not going to go through what is all the little bits and pieces in it because it would just, this video would be super long. But um, hair tie, and I do have just my basics. I'll kind of do a close up of what's in there. Um, take those out. <laughs> I have mostly blister band-aids. I have some pens, um, some wipes, uh, a little hair clip. As you guys noticed, I did cut off all my hair. I um, cut off 12 inches right before we left for vacation. Um, I cut off 12 inches usually every two years. My hair grows super fast, so I'm able to cut it and donate it. So at some point, I will do a full story on that. When Okay, so at some point I will do a full story on my haircut and what I do and all those kinds of things um, when I actually have makeup on and feel a little less crazy. But, um, okay, so I have my Sarah wallet. This is in pretty much all of my bags. It's still such a great wallet. It's over a year old, still smells like leather. Love this. So that's in there. I also went to... Um, a sunglass outlet before we left because I wanted a pair of sunglasses that I kind of just could throw on and when we were at the beach and wear on the top of my head. I usually don't wear my good sunglasses on the top of my head because they do tend to stretch and 
my more expensive ones I didn't want to take to the beach. In fact, my boyfriend did lose his good pair of sunglasses in the ocean while we were there. Um, but we had such a good time that I kind of just forgot until now. But so I ended up buying these are um, just Ferragamo sunglasses. And they were at the outlet and they ended up being, I think, like... $80 or something and they normally were $300. So um, these are what I wore the whole time. They're super dirty because they have salt water on them. But so those are in there. And these were just great. I wasn't as concerned with putting them on top of my head when we were going in and out of stores and that kind of stuff. So these ended up being a really good purchase before we left. I also have, this is an old, um, it was for Target when Marc Jacobs did that line for Target. And this usually I keep like my jewelry and stuff in. And I think that's what it originally was in my bag when we left. I had my good jewelry in it. And um, I intended on taking it out and putting it in my suitcase, but it ended up staying in here. In there, I have a really super long um, phone charger, which I like at hotels. I feel like so many times the um, plug is super far away. I also did carry this when we were at Disney mostly. Um, this just has my two external um, batteries. So I kept that in my bag. Um, I have water from when we were out. It was super hot and humid there. So this ended up being really good. I kind of am curious though um, yeah, the expiration date was 08, so I've had this in my kit for a really long time, and I kind of thought that it kind of smelled funny, um, and now that I look at the expiration date, I definitely need to throw that away. This little guy I got from the Rachel Zoe box of style, and this has all of my gift cards in it. Um, I don't know why lately I've just been carrying this with gift cards, I think, in my bag. I don't know, but, so I had that in there, and what's left? And then I have a key from... I think the first hotel room that we stayed in maybe. I try to keep all of our keys just because I think it's kind of fun. At some point maybe I'll do a scrapbook or something. Um, I also brought this. This is my limited edition um, last, last year's Christmas piece or two years ago's Christmas piece. I like the color of this with the interior of the um, teal, the turquoise. So that is, was in there. And this is what I carried when I carried my Alma BB when we went out, as well as my, um, Pachette Matisse. And I also carried my Palm Springs mini backpack while we were there. So in here I have a concealer. I have my, um, Lucas Paw, Paw ointment. Um, I was also, it was that time of month, which seems to be when I always am filming too. So in here I had feminine products, I had blister band-aids, I have Pepto-Bismol, eye drops, um, extra contacts, uh, some bobby pins, and that pretty much is what was in here. I'm really excited to get all this stuff out to organize it. Um, I also have a big clip. My allergies started acting up a lot while we were there, so I have tons of Kleenex in here. Um, which is weird because I normally don't have allergies. More Kleenex, another um, case for my sunglasses, allergy medicine. Um, I have my car keys in the six key ring holder. Um, I have a bunch of papers. This was for um, a couple uh, nights stay, another set of keys. This was... Um, Somebody gave us this at Disney. I have just information on our hotels and addresses of places that we were going to stay. I also have, what's this? This is just our confirmation for some tickets that we got when we were there. Um, before, the last, last time we were there, I was there with my mom. And we did the, um, at Epcot, they have these plaques that you could take your picture and they would engrave on it and they would stay in the front of the park. We bought my mom um, a brick for her 40th birthday and they only would guarantee that they would replace them for 10 years. After that, if they cracked, they would take them away. And we've never been able to find my mom's brick since then. So this was done in, I think it was 2000... 2000, maybe 2000. I'm not really sure what the year was, but, um, and so this is how we were able to find it. It was really cool. It's, um, it was just really touching to see my mom's picture in French. She loved Disney. And I think that's part of the reason why I really wanted to go, um, 
to see that too and to see just knowing you know that her memory is will always be there and it was that was really cool cool moment for us there's also a map um I actually grew up going to Disney and my boyfriend had only been once and I don't think he really had that great of an experience and he wasn't that thrilled about me wanting to go and we ended up having a great experience. I think sometime I'd like to do a video um, just on kind of the tips and tricks and things that I've learned um, about going but I haven't been to that park uh, in a really long time so that was really cool. On the way home um, we stopped at my sister's cabin in West Virginia which I hadn't seen. They built it and it was really really cool to see and so um, it, that was fun too and I got some lollipops. I do use these when I'm driving and I'm starting to get tired. Um, I also carried, this I'm really loving, especially in this tote. It just, I really, really like this. And it, uh, the colors are so cool with it too. I don't think you'll really be able to see on camera um, the coloring, but it's just like, I don't know, I love that. And I now, you know, I have, as if you guys know, as you've been watching, you know, I was really looking forward to doing the um, patch series, but they're not doing it in the GM Neverfull. So I'm going to experiment with it a little bit, but I was a little disappointed when I um, started learning when it, as it got closer to launch more information on it. So I'm really happy with this MM one, but I don't think I would do a patch series for myself in the MM. Maybe they'll do a GM at some point, but in here I have some Advil. I have my boyfriend and I's um, magic bands, which was really, really cool. Um, I have another, oh, here's the cord to my little external chargers. Here's another um, pochette, mini pochette. These are so funny. I've realized, um, I'm starting to get quite a few of these and I didn't use them that much. So I really wanted to try to use them. But in here I just have um, my, I didn't even know this was in here, my um, uh, travel brush and my foundation, the um, Chanel, and then another little one of these hair ties, which they don't even really fit in my hair right now. And also in here I have more Kleenex, I have receipts, um, more receipts. I have from one of the um, hotels we stayed in just a notebook or a little notepad. Another key for a hotel. Um, I have the cord thing and uh, my Apple Watch, my extra Apple Watch cord. The Apple Watch, when I'm working, I usually am working longer than what the battery lasts, so I usually carry that with me. Um, before we left, this is a great tip if you guys do go to Disney, I went to Target and bought some Disney gift cards with my Target red card and I was able to get 5% off of the Disney gift cards. So the whole time we were there, we just used the Disney gift card. So it didn't really feel like we were using that much of our own money when we were in the park. And in my mind, I kind of was able to tell myself I was getting 5% off everything that we were buying since I used my 5% off um, at using my Target red card. So that was great. And it also just now looking back at my debit card and my credit card statements, I'm like, okay, it doesn't make me feel as bad knowing that this was already paid for. So pretty much everything inside the park, we had theoretically already paid for. I also have um, another external battery. I, especially when I'm traveling, I like to take, this is just multi-colors of um, thread, pre-threaded needles which are super helpful when I'm working. I always, always end up with these in my kit and I try to take them, especially if we're going on vacation. Um, I did get some, um, I will try to get stuff that smelled like vacation, thinking that I was gonna use it. And we got so sunburned the first two days that all I used was aloe the whole time we were there. But I did get this tropical Maui Mango Mai Tai Shea Butter Hand Cream from um, Bath and Body Works. This little guy is just what I use to clip my two chargers together, which obviously it's not the case. This plug bug I use, um, the bottom comes off and I'm able to use it on my computer and charge my phone at the same time. So I have that. I have the blister block. And I know I did this in one of my favorites videos recently, which I also will link up in the corner. But um, it's not that easy to find, I'm realizing. I think maybe they discontinued it, which is really sad because I really like this. So I'm going to keep looking and see if I can find an alternative for you guys. Um, I also have the Blatterazzi. Seriously, everything in this 
pouch. I don't think I even took out another charger, hair tie, um, bobby pins, a tweezer. Um, I have a couple more pens, another one of these little monster clips, uh, hauls. And I have, before we left, I went to Apple and I bought two new bands for my um, Apple Watch. And I was really excited about the idea of having a red band. Um, but it's super, super red and I ended up not using it. So we'll see if I end up keeping it. And I liked this pink color too. So I got both of those, um, which we'll see. I don't know if I'll, if I'll end up using them or not. And I also have my boyfriend's um, Louis Vuitton wallet. He didn't want to carry it when we were kind of at the beach or at places like that. So he kept giving it to me to throw in my purse. And every time we'd go to a different hotel, say, oh, do you have my good wallet? Where's my good wallet? And I really honestly kept forgetting that he put it in there or that I put it in there. So every time we'd be searching for it, thinking that we lost it. But um, this was his birthday gift last year, I think. Yeah, last year. This was one that he liked. I found it in Chicago and, um, now, you know, it's, it's starting to like crease from, from where the other layer goes through, but it ends up, he really likes it. So that is in here too. And in the bottom of the bag, I'm going to make sure I don't have anything in the pouch. I don't have anything in the pouch. I have another mini bobby pin and a penny. If you guys know my, um, I think it was my treasures my treasures pouch. I will link that up here to that video, but I have a huge thing with pennies. Whenever I find pennies of my, I always think of my mom. So I've started to collect them and we found like three or four when we were in Disney, um, or in Florida or traveling. And I've been starting to now write the date and where I found it. And I keep them all in a little canister, which just reminds me of my mom. Um, and yeah, that's it. The bag is empty and, um, it's been a, such a great bag. I I have never really had good luck buying pre-loved, and this has been such a game changer. I think that the experience was so great. The woman that I bought it for from was amazing. I got so much help from a lot of fellow YouTubers or other Instagram um, people that I talked to, and I think maybe eventually I'll redo the straps just so they look brand new, and the bag seriously is in such amazing condition that I think if I changed the leather on it, it would look brand new. So we'll see but there is the end of um, my bag. It's all empty and now I can organize this mess and get my bag packed for uh, my week starting now. So hopefully you guys are all having a great week and off to a good summer. Um, hopefully I will check back with you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. <laughs> Why do I always have a hard time starting the video. <sighs> corner? I swear every time I forget which corner. Whichever corner it is, I love the interior of the color. I love the interior of the, I love the color of the interior. Me chair. Bentley, stay here. Come lay down. Come lay down. Great. I'm going to this full. Here is the aftermath of emptying my bag. <laughs> but it's empty except for a bobby pin.